Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil, Evil Viking 13 here, and welcome back to my Restoring the Commonwealth project, where I am rebuilding my original Fortress Sanctuary settlement at, of course, Sanctuary Hills, with the idea that my Minutemen Empire has been growing and rebuilding for probably two or three years now at this point in my save game. And so, Sanctuary Hills wouldn't be the ragtag, run-down survival settlement and fortress that it was originally, but rather a place where we're actually fulfilling our current motto, Rebuilding America. My ideas for this settlement are still in the very early stages. This is going to be a large rebuild project, so I know that some of you guys who are worried about, you know, blocky buildings and low frame rates and stuff like that, don't be too worried just yet. This is a, you know, long creative process. It's going to be a, a series of steps, and we're just at the beginning here. But what I'm imagining for my new version of Sanctuary Hills is an apocalyptic version of Main Street America. Obviously, my sole survivor was alive before the nuclear war, so he remembers what it was like, but he's also done a whole lot after leaving the vault. I have completed both uh, Far Harbor and the main quest in my playthrough, so this definitely won't be an idyllic pre-war village, even if that was possible. I'm already kind of pushing things, I think, with the living trees here. And as you guys can see, if you remember the end of last episode, I've shrunken these trees down a bit. They were kind of large and overwhelming uh, before. I don't want them to be too overpowering. I want you to actually be able to look down Main Street. But I want to use all of the buildings here in Sanctuary and all of the build area if possible, if my frame rate survives. I think I'd be okay with going below my usual 30 FPS limit as long as it does not get crashy on me. I've been going through all of the comments that you guys are posting, so if you have additional suggestions, keep those coming. I have a running Google document where I'm putting my ideas together with some of your ideas, and I think by the end of this thing, we're going to have a really fun build that's going to be almost a new foundation for all of the other builds that I've done for my Minutemen Empire here. This is going to be a really fun set of builds once it's all said and done. But, like I said, this is a creative process, so let's actually do some planning here. Let's go over to Photoshop, where I've taken almost a satellite view, a uh, screenshot of the settlement, and let's do just a little bit of planning. Because, as usual in this episode, I'm going to run some ideas by you guys. Okay, first up, here's what we have so far. There's all of our foundations and houses, the cleaned up street, the initial trees. I've got the Patriot Bar that I built in the first episode, Liberty Lodge, which I'm still working on from episode 2, and one of my favorite ideas from you guys there in the comments was to turn the General's original house, my original house, into a museum, because especially after the events of the main quest, I don't know that I would actually stay there. Too many bad memories, but people would probably want to see where everything got started here in Sanctuary, so I think I will turn that into a museum. What I've done here in red is outlined where I want the outer walls to go, around the entire settlement. And I've got a few questions that I want to pose to you guys about the outer walls, but that's roughly where I want to have them. I actually want to have some backyard space for the settlement this time around. This is where I've got to make a couple of decisions. This will obviously be the main gate right here. I've got a fun idea for how to design that. And then there's going to be a secondary gate uh, right here. I'm wondering, should there be one more gate somewhere? Maybe a small gate. Uh, let's say here, gate three. Again, I want to actually use all the housing that's already here. So this will, I think, still be the schoolhouse. I'm making some changes to the Liberty Lodge, where it's not going to be the dining area, so this is going to be the dining and kitchens. This is going to be housing over here. This one's going to be the workshop, right here in the center. And additional housing here. As you guys are going to see in just a minute, I had originally planned out a new house for General Dave right here. But I think it's gone too far, as far as the style goes. It now looks far too impressive compared to the Liberty Lodge, which was supposed to be like the community center. And although Sanctuary isn't supposed to be my center of government, the Liberty Lodge, just compared to the house that I've built, or at least outlined, as you guys are going to see here in a second, it's just too much, I think. So 
This might actually be a Minutemen Embassy? Or maybe HQ? This is definitely one area where I need some feedback from you guys. Uh, this one right here, this pad is going to be a mystery building that I'm going to keep secret for now. This pad right here next to the main gate is going to be the location of my uh, military outpost for Sanctuary. Just so we have a uh, recruitment center and stuff like that with a central location. Uh, this building right here, I might not have enough frame rate to do anything with it, so I might just, you know, put a door on it, lock it, and say, oh, that's more housing, quote unquote. And here's one final question before we actually dive in and do some building, guys. This central tree right here. I'm thinking of replacing it with a living version, but I might also replace it with a giant Minutemen statue. So the question is, tree or statue? You guys vote. I was thinking about putting a marketplace at that cul-de-sac. I know that some of you guys had that exact same idea. Because I want there to be some definite shops here for Sanctuary. This is supposed to be a very nice community. We definitely have some shops. But now that I have this embassy, general's house, something fancy building right here, I kind of want to keep the roadway clear and clean. And I'm thinking about uh, if I restore that tree or replace it with a statue and make this the nice building, the governmental building of some kind here. I'm going to put picket fences for all the houses all the way down and just make the main street with the lamp posts and the trees just look really really nice. I just don't want this settlement to feel very junky at all compared to my other ones. I want us to be very established here so while I do want to mark it I think I'm going to put it mostly inside of this house as an indoor market where the individual rooms are kind of like stalls at say an indoor flea market. And finally if I can afford the frame rate I really like the idea of a shanty town along the edge of Sanctuary. So it's something that I've heard for a while from you guys that would be a, a fun addition. And Joel actually built a shanty town here on his Sanctuary. I mean, it was like two buildings. He didn't really finish it. But I've always kept that idea in the back of my mind. I think it really makes sense here because... I don't think the Minutemen would completely, you know, throw out anybody who was building outside of the walls of the actual town. We wouldn't just chase them away, but people who couldn't get clearance to live inside the walls would probably want to be as close to the town as possible. Kind of like a old town being built around a medieval castle. You just want to be as close to that military protection as you can get. So along the walls here, I'm going to look at possibly building a small little shanty town. I imagine that the standards of living wouldn't be amazingly high, but you would be quite safe there just outside of the gates. Okay, that's our plan. Let me show you guys what I've been working on in-game since last episode. And we're back in-game. Now, while I'm continuing to work on my custom walls that I was originally hoping to actually use here at Sanctuary, I've been thinking, if there was a settlement where I could actually put these covenant walls to use, it would probably be here at Sanctuary, our most established settlement. So I want to get opinions. I'm just prototyping this right now. I might replace these with my walls still once they're finished, but what do you guys think about using the covenant walls and then junkifying them just a bit from the outside? Here's an example over here where I've placed some bits and bobs to detail them from the outside. Again, I think that there's a good chance that these would be our nicest walls anywhere in any of my settlements. So, do you guys think I should use them for the whole of Sanctuary's defenses? Well, let me know in the comments. Again, this is probably where I would build at least a little bit of a shanty town for people who are wanting to get into Sanctuary. Second question in game for you guys. I've got a bunch of different ideas for 
my military outpost. I was thinking about building it out of new brick and concrete, kind of like this. Just prototyping a couple of ideas. Kind of like the tower that I built uh, back at my boot camp. But I also like this building that comes with Homemaker that I just awkwardly placed here. Of course, it's obviously off of its base pad right now because I'm just thinking about it, but this could have perhaps been a neighborhood store and it would make a really interesting building to convert into my military headquarters and recruitment center. And I also have a new mod that would let me build with this set so I could actually build it and it would have navigational meshing and NPCs could use it. So what do you guys think? Brick and concrete, kind of like this, perhaps in a castle-like structure, or a pre-war style structure that the Minutemen have rebuilt. I was liking where this was going at first, as far as the concrete and brick goes, but now I'm definitely leaning towards the old-school structure, make it feel like a recruitment center. And over here, I'll show you guys what's been going on on Main Street. Again, as you can see, the trees are resized and are less overwhelming. But as you look up and down the street, we're beginning to get a bit of that old world feeling, I even here in the apocalypse. Compared to the old version of Sanctuary, this just feels a lot cleaner. And with just a little bit of as I call it, junkification, it could still feel very lived in and apocalyptic. Oh, and for the house that I couldn't think of an idea for, this, I think, smaller one uh, here, could perhaps be our hospital. I don't think I had laid out one of those yet. Okay. Finally, on to the main event for today, I think. I want to see what you guys think about my changes to the Liberty Lodge yeah. and what was supposed to be my house. I've toned down the banner just a bit. You guys pointed out that it was ridiculously huge. And I added the church pews into the lodge here. Especially if I'm going to have... Oh, is he praying? Alright. Um, I enjoy that that broke my train of thought. Um, yeah, if we're going to have a separate dining facility, I don't need to force dining hall tables into the lodge. This could just be the community meeting space. I like that idea a lot. I didn't use pews originally, even though I was thinking about it, because of reasons that I can't yet explain. And I'm also making some changes to upstairs, but I'll come back to those at a later episode. This is what I've also been prototyping. Again, this was supposed to be my house in a mansion style, uh, but it's kind of gotten out of control and it really feels like a government building now. So, although Sanctuary isn't really the capital of the Minutemen, that's supposed to be the castle, I wonder if this should be the civic capital right here. Not a whole lot of interior space, but a very interesting shaped building with a great view of, well, the wasteland and the river. There would, of course, be some defensive walls as close to the border edge of Sanctuary as I could get down this way, so kind of like right there. A decent amount of room, I think, for a government building, even though it's quite small. I wanted it to mostly fit over the base pad here. And this needs more flooring up here. And then, of course, there is a back balcony right there. Great little sniper's nest. Gotcha. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to do much more work on this building today because I'm so conflicted on what it's actually going to be for. Let me go into build mode and I'll show you guys the mod that I'm using to work on this structure. And yeah, I think a lot of the uh, the modding objects are what's causing my FPS drops because after an hour or so in the workshop, my FPS drops into the teens, but I can just restart the game and it comes back. So I think it's really just 
thumbing through the workshop with all these mods installed in a settlement where I built so much is a big part of uh, where the lag is coming from and that wall was the wrong color. The mod is going to be called Snappy Builds and it is awesome. Let's see, where I'm using the capital kit and I believe is it this wall right here? Perhaps this one. There we are. Now let's go up here. Now I'll fill in my floor just while I'm here. The only question is, if this is going to be a capital building, then where on earth does General Dave sleep? <laughs> down some marble here. As you guys can see I made a few trips gathering caps and supplies seeing I had gotten dangerously low on both steel and wood. Should probably get some more concrete too because it's going to eat it up quite quickly. So yeah, that really feels like a capital building in which case Maybe I should put the tree being kind of alive with a statue right here, maybe? Lots of options. There it is from the outside right now. While I ponder that a bit, I'm going to show you guys what I have in mind for the front gate. So I was trying to think. The junk fence gate, which is nice and large, is too junky for Sanctuary's gate, I think. So what I'm going to actually build it out of for the front gate is barn pieces. There's a really nice wall section which has doors that go with it. How big is it though? Let's see. Okay. So I'll bring it over this way. As you guys can see, we have the nice trees starting right outside of the gate. Or inside of the gate, I suppose. And the barn pieces make a nice finish for the wall. Is there a half piece I can use? Yeah. I want to just fill in right here. And let's put our barn doors on. Going to of course use the solid ones. No holes allowed on the front gate. And that should swing out. That's a very solid looking but nice uh, gate. Let's go ahead and open it up. Look at that. Oh, that left one or right one clips just the tiniest bit. I might rotate that. I'm gonna go ahead and build up my gate defenses because again if I go through here later and replace the uh, walls that I put up with my own the overall size should remain the same. Oh man it chugs so hard opening up workshop mode. That's a long freeze guys. Okay, cool. That should still be mostly closed. I want to see what kind of floors the barns have. Oh yeah, these actually might work quite nicely. I think there's some roof pieces too. Yeah, these. Do those snap here? Yeah. Oh, 
I'm gonna just wing this, guys. Come along for the ride. Let me see what I can come up with here. For the entranceway. Well, the Brahmin convoys like it. That's a good sign. How high do I want to go is the question. What kind of small windows do I have? Those might be too small actually. see what kind of supports I can add here. Come on, snap. <laughs> That's a roof piece. That's why it won't snap. It's my guard post I'm going to put up top. Let's not cover up the Fortress Sanctuary sign, though. And it could use a bit more flooring. Like so. I think I'm going to put a roof over this too. That works. That's the only sad part is the Fortress Sanctuary sign is going to be kind of hidden. I wonder if I can move it outside. I think with insert I can mod other objects. Kind of like scrap everything, but I've tried to avoid doing that as much as possible because you're editing things that were in the original game, in the original cell. Just try and avoid that out of just a general rule, basically. And I suppose I could put a doorway over this one. And I wanted to use the little tiny rooftops like this for our gate. This would be our main entranceway. Let's snap that staircase to where it actually belongs. That is not correct. Just wanting to grab the wrong side of that doorway. As usual, thank you. Place everywhere. Where is that snapping to? kinds of odd places. Where are you going, buddy? 
You liking that staircase? Make sure that we don't have any floating pillars here. Yeah, I'm gonna move a few of these objects. Oh, please don't crash on me. And then I'm gonna put our actual guard post up here. Maybe I'll leave one inside of the doorway. Yeah. I'll just center that one upstairs. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to go into free cam here. That's a pretty classy entranceway. Even though my rooftop would completely leak right there. Huh. I should put end cap rooftops on that instead. I'll fix that at a later date though. I think the design is pretty solid here. There's a better look at the walls. I haven't junkified this side yet because, like I said, I'm just prototyping, but let me know what you guys think of that. I think the second gate will be down here. I might use those barn doors again, but, uh, not with the archway over top of them. Yeah, overall guys, I really want this to feel like a much more open settlement than the original. One thing I am pretty confident about though is my indoor marketplace. I don't want to clutter up that cul-de-sac with the big tree, or possibly soon the statue, with a bunch of scrappy market stalls. So, instead, let's get our indoor market going over here. This I will scrapify to a certain extent, because I think the house is a little bit small to support a full-on market. Guys, I'll have to forgive me here. I also want to know if you guys think that mixing that governmental building style with my almost colonial lodge style works. I think it does, but I'd love to hear some opinions on that. Oop. Sorry, guys. Construction in progress. Perhaps deconstruction. Make sure that I don't have any wasted rooftop pieces here. Oh yeah, this will make a fine, fine storage area for our market. Got that sliding barn door. That'll be something else that I can keep from the original build. I almost think the barn floors, the concrete ones right here, would make a great addition onto our marketplace house. The question is going to be... How much grass pokes through? A little bit. A tolerable amount, I'd say. I 
we'll definitely have walls that go across here. But I think for the rest of the floorboards, I'm going to use thematic and practical scavenger. Now, trading emporium, round pieces, and these right here. That way I can have a trading hub that's kind of hanging off the back edge here. That looks good. Trying to see what kind of crazy snaps I can get going there. For the large wall, let's put one up. Or is that going to snap? There? Eh, that's kind of awkward. We'll put a few to back the flea market. Poor fella. And then let's build our stalls. There we go. I was going to say, are any of these going to snap? Add my countertops here. Do one there. Full countertop here. I sure pick some awkward shaped buildings, don't I, guys? Is that going to snap anywhere? Maybe if I do the rooftops first. Trying to avoid getting too boxy here, so it's going to be some overlap. That's probably too much overlap. So this needs to be a full size wall, I believe. Yep. There we are. And a small wall. Like that. And a small wall again, I think. Yes. Love this mod. Yeah, we are not finding an easy snap point here. Might just place that manually and then do a wall right there. I'll put a wooden stair there to cover the gap. <laughs> I like that small window. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting some better snapping going on. Having those back walls definitely helps. There we go. Then I can fill in the gaps with a few triangle pieces. So this can be a good circle plaza.
And let's put a few nice big tarps over the central space here. What did that snap to? Nothing useful, that's for sure. I'm just going to clip this in. I'll put a few small ones like this. Now we've got our shaded little marketplace. One of the few junky-ish parts of Main Street. <laughs> kind of fitting that the capitalist marketplace is right next to the General Dave Museum. Spend those caps. It's kind of like Pleasure Island, but with a uh, covering layer of respectability on top. However false that might be. And I will put... You know, this is probably where my frame rate is going to. I've got so many objects that I stored instead of scrapping. I bet you that hurts my frame rate too. I didn't want to lose out on resources, but I need frame rate more than I need building resources. My settlements all make just maximum caps at a ridiculous rate. All I have to do is fast travel around for 15 minutes gathering up caps from each settlement and I'm good to go. Just buy shipments of supplies, so you just scrap all that. I really like the character we have going on here. <laughs> it's also across from the Patriot Bar, so you can spend your caps and then head on over uh, to the bar to drink some more. Come on over to the market, spend a few more caps. Let's do a save, just to be safe. Which means we're going to have the workshop chugging once again as we go back into it. Okay, I'm going to place a traditional storefront, just a nice big general trader. I don't use those standalone booths very often, so that's fun to use again for once. That's the only one I'm going to place out here, though. I don't want it to get too crowded. I like those custom stores, though. I think the one out front is going to be the armor store for sure. These are perfect for an indoor mall. You can use those shelves right there to display armor on the right. Awesome. What could be over here? Um, weapons, food and drink, not the clinic. Yeah, let's say weapons. Nice big weapons counter. Then for the back, uh, perhaps a clothing shop. Yeah. Could be our clothing shop. That just leaves right there for our rooms. This might be a grocer.
They say bar, though. Hmm. Bar small. Yeah, I might make that the grocer still. So for the weapons area, we're going to want under display. Here's the armor racks actually. And we have some nice display cases. Perhaps put that in the center of the room? Yeah. Do it like this. For our valuable loot. Heavy weapon rack. I imagine that everyone here is allowed to own their own weapons, of course. General Dave is all about liberty and freedom. But you would definitely not want to use them in any crime where any of General Dave's security cameras <laughs> or turrets could ever see you do it. I am really liking this idea of the indoor mall, guys. This is shaping up quite nicely. <laughs> As my frame rate erodes again. I'll probably have some kind of lockers back here, too. Let's do this. Let's put the clock on this wall. And I'll just get rid of this weapon rack. This locker is now part of the gun shop. I'm already thinking for decorations. Let's go to settlement keywords extended, OC decorator, and I think uh, workshop? Ammo. Got a really fun ammo texture mod that makes them look like old 1950s ammo boxes. I love it. Let's see if you guys can see it. That's 44 right there. Turn off surface snapping. Oh, where did it go? Can have some ammo for sale here. I'm gonna have to be a little bit sparse with my detailing. Wow, even the sound of placing it lagged. Uh, just because of frame rate. Uh, really hope I can fulfill all the ideas that I have for the settlement. I couldn't before. But now that I know that the game can kind of handle things a bit better, I might try and push things pretty far this time around. Put a few fusion cells in the case. It's really hard to tell if I'm clipping through or not. Yep, some of those are clipping through. I saw that box of parts and thought that would be a really cool look for the countertop of the gun shop. That costs some serious loot to build for a decorative object. Wow, guys, look at that bullet. It's floating way out there. I'm going to have to play with some of those place decorations. I like what we have so far, though. Okay. You know, what else is probably lagging the settlement so badly is this is my original inventory as well, and it's, I would say, way overcrowded. So many weapons and armors. Those will work well, I think. Uh, combat shotgun won't fit. Two 
two 10 millimeter pistols it is then. And I don't think I have anything for the actual pistol rack now. There we go, the cheapskate option. Pipe revolver pistol. Whoa, what is wrong with my field of view here? Uh, field of view 95. There we go. Gonna drop a weapon too. Like they've been working on it. Advanced combat shotgun. Pretty impressive weapon selection. I feel like my field of view is way too small now. Yeah, it keeps jumping it back up. My exit. That's going to be annoying. Okay. I'll put the DC armor on this guy. Then, what do you get? Baseball caps, not really armor, again. What was it? Uh, explorer outfit? Drifter outfit. That's cool. Probably use a dummy back there, but... That's enough decorating for now. I'm going to come back to the inside of the mall. Oh man, my narrow field of view is going to give me a headache at this point. Uh, you're still stuck in the ground, huh? Yeah, that's a good outline for the indoor mall. Just for creativity's sake, I'm going to step back from that for now. And possibly for frame rate's sake. As you guys can probably tell, I've got all the street lights on their own electricity. I think I'm going to do the same for each house so that I can just turn off every house's power at any given time. Well, see, my frame rate is eroding. Yeah. I think I'm going to wrap things up by just adding uh, a couple of the picket fences to the houses. I don't think I'm going to do it for the Liberty Lodge and for the Patriot Bar, but for all of the old school residences, I'd like to have it, I believe. Let's see if it cooperates. Okay. Structures. There it is. Fences. Picket fence. And I'll use the worn down one. Object snapping is on. I think for the marketplace, I'm just going to add a couple like this. Do one like this, if it'll snap. Wait, those are backwards, aren't they? There we go. <laughs> I really want to go for that Restoring America Main Street look. I think just adding a handful of these fences can do that.
Come on, snap. <laughs> to the side I want you to. Okay, fine, I'll do this side first. You gotta be kidding me. Now it snaps to that side. Fine, you know what? I'll let you snap to that one. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh man, my frames. Sorry again, guys. Hoping it's gonna get a little bit better as more time passes and I keep scrapping old objects. As an example of just using the fences sparingly, I'm doing just this side of the entrance sidewalk here. and not this part where the tree is, as an example. I think I'm gonna curve it using smaller pieces though. So if I just rotate this a little bit like that. Maybe not quite that much. You can get a good angle going to curve with the sidewalk. Nice, that worked out well. Oh, need an end post, huh? I think I'll add one up here too, but I will do that at a later date. I want to hear what you guys have to say so far. What do you think of our indoor shopping mall as it's progressing? And how Main Street Sanctuary is looking? Huh? Notice that General Dave's Museum gets the pristine white picket fence. Alright, I'm going to restart the game to uh, record the intro for this episode because all of my frames have gone away. For now, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the build so far. Keep those suggestions coming, and I'll see you guys next time.